Today, we will learn how to use the wait function. The wait function literally waits for either a specified condition or a specified amount of time while the program is running. Look at the teaching pendant here. We have the wait button. Press this button. Then you'll see, wait 1.0 seconds, message on the program tree. Now, press the play button. The program will wait for one second and then terminate itself immediately. To change time, click the wait command and enter the desired time in the sec field. For example, let's enter 5 seconds and press set. If you play it now, the program will wait for 5 seconds and terminate itself. Enter the wait command tab again. You will see the sync tab. Scroll down the sync tab to see the sync with speed bar option. Now, select it and press set. The program tree will also show sync with speed bar after 5 seconds. Since it involves sync with speed bar we will set the speed bar at the right bottom to 100% and run the program. If the speed bar is set to 100%, we can see that it waits for 5 seconds. Now, change it from 100% to 50% and run the program again. Compared to previous 100%, the waiting time has increased by approximately two times. This is because the program is written assuming the speed of 100% which has been synchronized in this speed bar. So if you switch it to 50%, the waiting time doubles. So far, we have seen the wait time condition mode. Additionally, we have two modes here, wait while a condition is true, and wait until a condition evaluates to true. First, we will see the wait mode while a condition is true. Here, it says, condition, and in this field, you can enter variable, digital input, etc. For example, we connected the switch to digital input number 3. Pressing the switch will yield digital input number 3 to true. Let me show you an example for the, wait holding condition. Where it waits while digital input number 3 is true. Ok, if you press set now, the command displayed in this program tree here will change. If we press play now. Since I am not pressing the switch, the program will not wait but terminate itself immediately. Now, we want it to hold when the condition is set to true. So, I will change digital input number 3 to true and play it again. In this case, while I am pressing the switch, it will continue to wait on the program. If I release the switch, then the program will terminate itself immediately. All right. Now we will select the exit mode activated when the condition is true and apply the same condition as before. In this case, if I start the program without pressing the switch, the program will continue to wait. As soon as I press the switch, the condition is set to true. So, it will immediately exit the wait mode. This, wait mode exit condition, is often used to detect objects with sensors or use sensors in other ways. If sensors malfunction or there is no object to detect, 
digital input number 3 will never yield true and the program will wait indefinitely. For this reason, we have here the timeout function. If we activate the timeout function now, the sec field right below will display 3 seconds as default value. Press set now. Then, as you saw before, it will exit from wait mode immediately. But if I release the switch for 3 seconds, it will exit from wait mode after the time expires. As soon as I press the switch, it will exit the same as before. If I release the switch for 3 seconds, it will eventually exit after time expires. This is all I have for the wait function.